Oh, hi. I'm going to show you how to bend some metal with a compact bender. In order to make the, uh, the channel for bending a little bit wider, I put on a, uh, a grinding disc, which is obviously thicker than a cutoff disc. That gives us a much wider kind of tape, like, uh, uh, you see that bevel kind of to it? This will give us a chance to kind of bend it easier. I have one of these uh, upright kind of uh, uh, floor pedestal benders, and I can show you how I'd use this to bend it. The basics are, um, I'm using the 90 degree angle. I'll, I'm going to take this all apart just to show you real quick how to do it. So your pedestal, let's make sure I have this all in frame. Your pedestal gets screwed to the floor because you need a lot of leverage to do this. And you have multiple kind of pivot die here all the way up to something like this. So you can use this for a lot of different things. I'm using this just to bend this. So this arm is what does all the bending. And you're gonna take this and your long, one of your long um, pins that come with it, and that's not the one. And you're gonna put that into the second hole, big hole here. So you have this extra one sticking out here, okay? So that's your pivot right here, okay? And then you're gonna take this little spacer guy and you're gonna go one, two, three back for that. Then you're gonna take this, it's a 90 degree um, piece. You're gonna rest it on the spacer, but you're gonna have this go from this pivot, you're gonna go one, two holes and put your pin in, okay? Then the last one you're gonna do is on this arm here. You're gonna take one of your, one of these guys right here. Oh wait, I, I put this in the wrong one, my bad. You're gonna go a second hole, I, put, I did the third. You're gonna take this and pop this in. This is the size I want because I want a fairly tight angle there. So you have this all the way. You put this piece in put it up to your line, have this line rest on your this line right here, and then you're gonna kind of lock it into place, okay? And then you're gonna pull, you're gonna need a lot of leverage on this. And you're gonna pull it. And that, that line that you bent, that you ground into this will help that bend. This one looks like it needs to come up a little bit more. So I'm going to stick it in one more time, and I'm just going to bend it a little bit more, just so it looks like it matches, so it looks like it matches the other one. Uh, there we go. Mark this on my bench, just so I can check my angles here. So I'm going to make a line here. Then I'm gonna bring this line up to it. Bring this line up and I'm gonna make that mark. Now I'm gonna switch this over. Then I can see how close I did. Looks like I bent it a little bit more than I should have. Well, uh, it's pretty darn close actually. But this is gonna be, now this is a template for the other one that we're gonna be doing. So we'll try it. I'll show you this one more time. You guys can ask in the comments if you have questions on it. So we're gonna put this in here. We're gonna match that up with this line here. It'll actually kind of sink into it if you if you made a big enough divot. And then we're gonna pull this until it kind of locks. And then we're gonna pull. Pull a little bit more. And then we're going to test it on this. 
And that's actually pretty darn good. Another thing you can do if you want to get an accurate line is these these pedestals have have a uh, um, little gauge here and you can put this in here so it's a stopper and you go up to that and that's where you know to stop all right so I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna lock it into place and now I'm going to And then I'm gonna mark it off of this, mark it off of this guy to see if it's kind of rest them up. And it looks like that worked pretty well. When you hit like and comment, it helps me in the algorithm. So if you would do that, I would appreciate it. Uh, if you want to subscribe, you'll get notifications of new videos that I'm making. So. Uh, Thanks for watching all these.